Hey guys, it's BNL. Welcome back to Final Fantasy VII Blind. In the last part, we uh, proceeded through Mount Nibble, Nibble, I don't know, <laughs> at all. And this part, we have reached this guy. He looks like a thing. Uh, so I guess we'll fight him. Okay, well, <laughs> no time for introduction. We got a boss to fight. Sure. Uh, so I'm gonna that trine. Uh, no, I'm not playing that game. Ah, oh, you've got to be kidding. You've got to be kidding. Okay, we'll give him the good old sense. Material keep a level 38. 8,400 attack. What? Didn't he get another limit break? Or maybe his dice has just become better. No, we already used dice, huh? Hey! Rain Hunter's always good. Oh, he's going to kill one of them. He's going to kill Tifa. Eris. <laughs> That's who she is. Yeah. So it's not weak to anything, it's just, it keeps materia. Hmm. Well, I'm gonna use fire too, and we'll see what happens. Because I may as well use one of these two spells. Two materia. 249 damage with a single attack is alright, I guess. It heals him! Does all materia heal him? I'm afraid to use anything else. In any other case, it would make the fight really easy, because then I don't need to use materia. Okay, come on, Kate Sith. I guess it's at 800. Maybe. So I guess it does doubles, and it gets doubled. Hell combo. No, that was really not that great. Not that strong of an attack. Can't even summon anything. The hell combo. Actually, I was like, I was like, she, she should be in limit break territory right now. Nah, uh, cure him. Like your finest bacon, cure him. I don't eat cured bacon. I, I like it all smoky and stuff. The best kind of bacon though is the um, it's not the uh the strips. It's the I don't know what the, the term is for the um. The bit at the end of the strip. Like, not. Like, the big meaty part. I don't know, the ration? I think ration just means serving. This is a way for McDonald's to just say serving. Paris is limit break. I'm gonna see if I can uh, use Seal Evil on this thing. You know, it's not moving, which is actually a really good sign. I didn't know I could use that stuff on bosses. I thought it like flipped out if you tried it on a boss. I'm guessing it's gonna give me like a few free hits before it does anything. But this is this will be great because it'll allow me to just kind of wail on it for a bit. So it's got 8,000 health. I'm gonna say maybe I've done 4,000. Had quite a few limit breaks. Uh, wow. This I love this. I love it. Can I can I just say I love this li this limit break? I'm mean, sure you don't really get hit to use other limit breaks, but oh, there he goes. He's going for it. He's going for it. Yeah, I'll give him the heal. Look at that! The limit break went up two thirds. So I feel like I just started the part on a boss. And, and I don't think the boss is gonna go for too much longer. Cure 2. Oh No! Why can't he use Cure? No! Don't you dare, like, keep using that. Okay, good, he's just using Trine. What does Trine do? This is just a really strong attack that hits everyone. Uh, Eris, you see a healing win. There we go. Give each other like 600 health. That's always good. Okay, the good old cross. Slash. Is healing win like specifically half of your total health? I think it might be that. I don't know. Because it did less than 600 for Eris, but a bit more in the 600s for the rest of the guys. I didn't check the exact values. Also, is he frozen? Did he freeze? Why did he freeze? Are you healing wind? Okay. So, five minutes in, just killed the boss. 
Okay, I totally could have done this at the end of the last pot, unless there's a huge story thing. Uh, oh, okay, the old materials leveled up, two levels, and a gem ring. Oh, and a counter materia. Okay, one thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna hit another save. Good, because one, I don't want to do that again. Uh, but we'll check the materia first, so... Okay, so, we got an item. What is the item? The item was the, uh... Not the full metal stuff, the, uh, gem ring. Okay, protect against Parify, Petrify, and Slonum. That might be great on, uh, Eris. I'm gonna equip that onto Eris. Yep, yep, nothing, nothing great. And then we also got, did we, we didn't get a material, it's just the all material leveled up. Um, okay. The Chocobo Lure is gaining levels, but I don't see the point in really using that. And I forgot to save, of course. Yes. Uh, so anyway, so I'll see you guys next time when we're, no. Uh, yup. Bye bye, Cloud's Bust. I'll never need you again. Okay, so... Okay, outside we are. Why do we have to fight more of these guys? It'd be really sad if I died to them. But I won't, because I'm not... Oh, okay, the damage is back. I don't even know. I don't know. At all. Why is the damage back? Why is the room gone? Come on! Six! It's not enough! It's not enough, no! Give him the good old cure. Kate says just as terrible defense. I mean, that's why. Okay, Cloud's gonna get hit. Oh no, Cloud got hit for a bit. Almost dealing 300 damage with a single attack, which is gonna be nice. Give him the good old slap and the slash. And the hit in the face. The best kind of hitting. In the face. Uh, so I guess we keep going around. Oh, look at that, we left. whoop de doo <laughs> Uh, wait a minute. Oh. Uh, hold on. Reset that camera. Where are we going? I guess we'll go north? Yep, there's a mountain range. It looks like there's a town north. I think I can go around this mountain range. Oh, yep. Okay, what is this? What is this? How much damage? 55, okay, the threat is gone. <laughs> the threat is completely gone. Well, I'm just gonna attack the guys at the front. They're the ones dealing the damage. Why hit the guy at the back on the front, guys? I think the thing is, Kate Sitz doesn't have a lot of defense, and he's up in the front row. That's why Eris is taking a lot less damage. But of course, when a magic materia, when a materia hits something, I don't think it, uh, matters where they are. Now this is gonna kill me. Poisoned. So... Yeah, I think, I think stopping Eris from getting hit by... Paralyzing stuff is probably one of the best things, just because Eris is the healer. The healer should not be stuck by hers. That's what I hit this guy, and hopefully, he didn't, yeah. Maybe this guy's got a lot of health. Okay, so now he's back in the front row, so he's dealing all the damage. Give him the good old heal. So, yeah. You know, one thing that I find impressive about this game is that it came out in 1997? And I think it's just the, um, just how much stuff they put in. I've never really played another Final Fantasy game to its full- wow, so close there. Uh, I've never played a Final Fantasy game really to completion. I haven't- I've, I don't really think I've made much progress in 3, and I own a bunch of the rest, but I was like, you know, I shouldn't start playing them until I finish this one. Okay. What's that? Also, I haven't had any voice acting in a while, that's a thing. That is a giant phallic symbol. Or a 
That's the old rocket. Wonder why they made something so huge. Okay. Go in the inn. In the inn, in the inn, in. Welcome to the Shanghai Inn. Are we in Shanghai? A hundred gil. Uh, I'll wait later. Is it real or fake? It's, uh, fakely real. Excuse me, barman. Would you like something to drink? Come here, sir. Did you meet the captain already? He's really the town's representative, so you should really talk with him. Okay, what about you, Mr. Man? Better ask the captain about this town. He's the one in charge of it. Captain? Who's the captain? The captain was a pirate when Shinra was still interested in their space program. He was going to be the world's first astronaut, but there was an accident. Ever since then, he's been wasting his life away here, dreaming about going into outer space. Did you see a man in a black cape? A man in a black cape? Nope, never seen him. Okay. Well, uh, can I go upstairs? Also, was that guy in the bathroom? Oh. I'm in here. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I, th I think he's permanently s stuck to the toilet. Uh, what about this? Is this an arm shop? Also, whoa, how'd I get all the way over here? Okay. Uh, excuse me, Mr. Man. Oh, I'm so bored, isn't there? You think I can excite me? Let me do a trick for you. Raiding your house. Saying hi to your wife. Gee, it sure is boring around here. <laughs> this game doesn't predate CDI Zelda. Wasn't CDI Zelda like 95, 96? So technically, I'm in the clear for that one. Let me handle all your weapon and accessory needs. Okay, what kind of weapon? Shotgun? What did... Okay, so I can't equip it on anyone. So maybe there's another character? I mean, it looks like there's there's maybe slots for nine characters down below, and I feel like I'm, I'm probably missing one. Gold arm armlet, okay. Power wrist, that would be amazing for some of these characters. Uh, and a talisman. No, the gold armlet would be great for uh for Cloud and Eris. I might buy three of them. The two thousand each isn't so much, and I'll I'll sell any crappy weapons. Okay, so equip, go to thing up. So armlet, I want to equip the gold armlet. It gives me more material slots, it's a counter attack. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> oh, this is really interesting there. So this also increases my magic defense by a fair bit, so that's nice. Uh, yeah. Oh yeah, I noticed he dropped, he dropped the counter. Yeah. And this shouldn't do it too much, because, yeah. Alright, so I think I'll get rid of the crappy armlets. Which one the ones? The silver ones? The items? The, uh... I think I dropped two of them, but... Okay, one, sell that one. I'm not gonna need that. Uh... Mithra armlet. That was the one. Yeah, I think that is ain't worth anything. Uh... Mithra saber? Yeah. I don't know what wind slash and uh, I'll keep some of these full metal stuff. Yeah, get rid of that. All right. So now materia. Great. I I can't sell any materia. Uh, and this guy doesn't sell anything other than these few weapons. So, okay. Toilet. <laughs> oh, right. I walked behind it just then. Why can there we go? Why can I? What? You can talk to it from back here? Okay. Alright, um, and this guy's got a nice house. I love the classic RPG trope of making a shop out of your house. That's always a good one. Uh, I don't know where the item store is. Maybe this one is it. Are you the item store? He's behind a counter. There we go. Thank you. Uh, what's this thing? Phoenix Downs by a couple of them. Got plenty of high versions. Ooh, ooh, um. Mm, you know, I've never seen any of them, but also at the same time, my gill. I feel like I might need my gill for something else. I can buy a, a free, a full ticket to Gold Torsa, which is nice. Because, what is it, 30,000 gill? All Grams does is gaze that rocket all day long. Where is the Gramps? <laughs> Again, he's not in the bathroom. I love how they put these bathrooms in. This is a nice touch. 
This used to be a Shinra base where they launched rockets. You saw the leaning rocket, right? That's Shinra number 26. It never got off the ground, though. Uh, okay. Hello? Hello? I'm guessing this is the space guy, because he's... Chest! Drill arm. I'm guessing that's for Barrett. If I use Barrett. Barrett is going to be crappy leveled. Because I haven't used him in a long time. I've just been using Gates. Hello. It's my job to make people laugh all over the world. Ha! What a great job. Look at this. Power source. Okay. Uh, I guess I'll just keep going. <laughs> We're only 16 minutes in. Whoop. Uh-huh. Walking up. Let's pretend to be a space astronaut. Yep, definitely number 26. I like some of the details on these items, they're very nice. Oh my gosh, why didn't they design this thing with stairs? Or a lift? I, can I bang on the door? No, I climb up all the way here for nothing. Great. I guess can I go around? Mm. Whee! Oh, yeah. Okay, I'm going back. Uh, how about to the sides? Down here? No, nope. nothing. Oh. There is apparently there he is. Uh huh. Oh yeah, 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 I'll take a look at the rocket with you. <laughs> okay. This guy said something. So I was like, okay. Wow, okay. There's a rocket. Uh Yoshi, you what? And use it. What is it? It's a Yoshi Yuki. I don't know what that- Oh, it's a sword! Sword is used when an ally is down. I can equip it. What does it mean by sword is used when an ally is down? What does that mean? It does a lot more attack, yes. But... I'll try it. <laughs> Also, the uh, material isn't connected. So. So I might. Yeah, okay. So, straight back to ice. And. Yeah, so we'll just give the added effect to the Shiba. The armor and all this up there, and the counter attack. Okay, so where do we go? Well, I've tried. No gold. So in that case, there's gonna be something around here that triggers it opening. Cause that'd be so jokish if it's like nowhere even here. So there's gotta be maybe like a person that I've got to talk to, like this door. Beautiful. Missed it completely. There's a Shinra logo on it. Tiny Bronco. This is cool. What? Let's take it. Okay, Cloud? Um, may I help you? No. We're just looking at it. If you'd like to use it, please ask the captain. The captain should be in the rocket. I'm Shara. And what are your names? Uh, I'm Cloud. I'm Eris. Fortune telling machine Kate Scythia. Him. So you're not with... <laughs> You're not with the Shinra. I thought you were, I forgot a voice completely. I thought you were bringing approval for the space program. President Rufus is, is scheduled to come here. The captain's been so restless all morning. Rufus? Uh-oh. 
Uh oh, it is on. Uh, talk to the guy in the plane, right? I'm in front of the blade. Uh, okay, so I guess I come back inside. <laughs> they are totally gonna kill me, aren't they? Uh, it's kind of confusing because, like, down and everything's on angle in this place. So, okay. So, wait. Uh, okay, so I feel like. Wait, so, oh, he's in the rocket, so, okay, maybe I go up now? Maybe? Is it open now? I don't know. I'm just gonna say, if he was in the rocket, then I guess, yeah. Maybe I go in now. So there's no easy way to see that the door is open. Until you go all the way up. And then you see, up oh, look, door's open. Hello. How are you doing? I'm, I'm gonna give him a, like, really Aussie accent. What are you guys doing here? We heard the captain was here. Captain? I'm the captain. Oh, so oh dude, we got another character. At least we're going to get another character if we're naming him. It's probably there. Name Sid. Everyone keeps, everyone calls me captain, though. Though? What do you want? Uh, tell me about this rocket. Wow, not bad for a kid. Alright then, I'll explain to you. You know, Shinra developed a lot of technological gadgets during the meaningless war, right? Now it's a Mako company, but in the old days it was a weapons manufacturer. Well, they came up with a rocket engine. There was so much excitement about the thought of going into outer space. Our dreams got bigger and bigger. They put a major budget into it and made prototype after prototype. Finally, they completed Shinra number 26. They chose the best pilot in Shinra. No, in the world. Me. I mean, I mean, come on. <laughs> and finally, if we get to the day after launch, everything was going well. But because of that dumbass Shera, the launch got messed up. That's why they became so anal. And so Shinra nixed their out of space exploration plans. After they told me how the future was space exploration and got my hopes up. My damn hopes up. Damn them. Then it was all over once they found out Mako Energy was profitable. They didn't even look so much as look at space exploration. Money, moolah, dinero. My dream was just a financial number for them. Look at this rusted rocket. I was supposed to be the first man in space with us. Every day, it tilts a little bit more. At this rate, I don't know what, which will be first. This thing falling over or me getting out of here. My last hope is to talk to the president. Okay. Uh, is that really the only thing he's gonna say? Okay, bye, Sid. Can I go back in? Will he say something different? Will he continue his dialogue? What do you want? Uh, okay. It's rough, it's coming. Yeah, it must, have been, it must be the news about restoring the space program. A young president, that's what he needed. He still has dreams, too. <laughs> I'm, I'm botching up the Australian accent. Can we borrow the tiny poker? You're out of your <laughs> mind? That's my most cherished possession. I can't let you take it. Pretty please. No. Okay. Alright, so I guess he won't let us, let us take it. Alright, so I guess we'll walk about, la 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 la. So, what do we do now? Where do we go? Let's just take the tiny bronc. <laughs> he won't care. It's probably gonna be something like this if you take it. It wasn't in this house, was it? Yeah, it was. Excuse me, Cloud? I, I completely forgot my voice. I just did it as well. Did the captain say anything? Nope. Ah. Oh. Ah. Oh. Ah. Oh, there he is. Fl <coughs> Shara, what are you, blind? We got yes. Get some tea. <coughs> I, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, jeez. This guy's a sailor from tip to the top. Really? Don't mind us. Shut up. Sit down in those chairs and drink your goddamn tea. Ah. 
Damn, I'm pissed. Cheryl, I'll be in the backyard tuning up Tiny Bronco and make sure to serve him some tea, alright? <laughs> Guess it's just going like, yup. <laughs> Sheesh, what bad manners. Sorry, it's our fault. No, no, he's always like this. Is he like this all the time? Buying your head off and that? I can never stand it. Nah, it's because of my stupid mistake. I was the one who destroyed his dream. What happened? Oh, cutscenes. Hey, get your ass in gear. You work like a snail. Even the moon get tired waiting around for your ass. I'm completely forgotten the Australian accent. I'm, so I'm, I'm sorry. Don't take so much time checking that <coughs> oxygen tank. Shara, being careful is good, but no matter how many times you check that oxygen tank, it won't matter. That thing wouldn't break even if hell froze over. No buts! You're not stupid, so be more efficient! I'm sorry. Tapping the stuff. Captain, our dreams are finally coming true! We're so proud to be a part of the launch of Shinra number 26! Captain, preparations are complete! All that's left is liftoff! Yeah, leave it all to me, I'll be back in a few. Alright, <laughs> all right, Captain! Fly our dreams into outer space! Thanks, guys. We're praying for your safety. <laughs> Instrument panel all clear. Shinra number 26 ready for launch. Engine pressure rising. Shinra number 26, three minutes launch. Beginning countdown. Finally. What the? What happened? Sid, we have an emergency mix situation. The mechanic is still in the engine section of the rocket. What? Who is the Lilt? I don't know. Activating the intercom in the main engine section. Hey, God damn it! who the is still in there? It's Shara, Captain. Don't mind me. Go ahead with the launch. Shara, what are you still doing in there? I was still concerned. The results of the oxygen tank test weren't satisfactory. You stupid little <coughs> It's gonna get so hot in there that there ain't gonna be <coughs> left when we blast off. You're gonna be burnt to a crisp. You're gonna die. You know that, don't you? I don't mind. If I can just fix this, the launch will be a success. I'm almost done. Wow, dedicated to the job. Almost done, you're gonna die. We must start the countdown if we don't make you. Oh, jeez. Start the engine. Hey, wait a minute, Sheriff's still in there. What are you gonna do, Sid? The council now will be another six months until the next launch. God damn it, Sheriff. You wanna make me a murderer? Captain. Sheriff. Tank number seven check is complete. Once I complete tank number eight, it's all clear. Come on, Sheriff, hurry up, you're gonna die. 30 seconds until ignition. Beginning countdown. Sid, forget about it, we won't make it in time. What what am I what am I supposed to do? Fifteen seconds to two indicative. Internal temperature rising. I'm guessing this is just cutscene. Oh man, the moon, out of space, my dreams. Ignite engine. Shit! <laughs> well, that could have gone better. Well, that's a problem. Also, why did you make this rocket so close to the town? Okay. You pushed the emergency engine shutdown switch, aborting the mission to save my life. After that, the space program was cut back and the launch was cancelled. It's my fault his dream was destroyed. That's why it's alright. I don't care what the captain says. I'll live my life for him. Oh. Er, oh. What is he doing? Shara, you still haven't served him tea! I'm, I'm sorry. Oh my gosh, she never learns, does she? Hurry up and sit down, or ain't my hospitality good enough for you? They're late. Where's Rufus? Uh oh. Hey, hey, long time no see. So, Zid, how have you been? Well, if it ain't Fat Man Palmer, how long were you figuring on keeping me waiting? So, when's the space program gonna start up again? 
Hey, hey, I don't know. The prison's outside, so why don't you ask him? <coughs> Good for nothing, fat ass. <coughs> don't say fat. Hey, hey, tea. Can I have some too? With lots of sugar and honey and... Oh yeah, don't forget the lard. <laughs> ah, classic. Uh, why is that kid coming up? Is President Rufus here to announce that he's going to restart the space program? She had an accent, I've completely lost it, so meh. Hey, hey, haven't we met before? Hey, is the tea ready yet? We're playing sugar and honey. Oh yeah, and don't forget the lard too. Okay. Uh, okay, so I guess... Walk outside. What the? You got me all excited for nothing! What'd you come here for? I want to borrow the tiny Bronco. <laughs> okay, so I do his exit. We're going after Sephiroth, but it seems we've been going in the wrong direction. But now, we think we know where he's headed, but we have to cross the ocean. That's why we want your plane. <coughs> First the airship, then the rocket, now the tiny Bronco. Shinra Dad took it. <laughs> oh, gosh. Shinra took it out of space away from me, and now you want to take the sky away from me too? Oh my, you seem to forget it was because of Shinra Inc. that you were able to fly in the first place. What? Uh, excuse me. This way. Uh, what? <laughs> what? You want to use the tiny Bronco, right? I believe Palmer's gonna take it. Why don't you talk to him? Okay. Excuse me, dear lad. Hmm, why do I have to do this? I'm the head of the space program. What? He's the. S <sighs> ah. We'll be taking the tiny Bronco. I've seen you somewhere before. I know, the Shinra building, when the president was killed. Oh, is it security? Oh, oh, okay. Alright. Oh, he's a boss. He has a plane. And he's doing a nice little dance. Uh, so I'm gonna hit this guy in the face. We're gonna use sense on him. Just goes. Level 38. Uh, he's got less health. MP, not weak to anything. Okay, 6,000 health is a fair bit. Look out, he's got a gun! You know, that just did 400 damage, which wasn't too much. Although, granted, the hit. Why is. Why am I dodging? Why is he dodging so much? I'm a fire and my laser. There we go, get some hits. Get some good old fashioned hitting him in the face. So if he shoots loud again. You know, I'm, I'm gonna use the cure. So really, is this guy just gonna use um the uh shooty gun, the gun gun, Mako gun? <laughs> oh no, he's gonna fight! <laughs> oh no. It's okay. He's not that fat. I feel like this guy's gonna be a huge bullet sponge. He hasn't really done anything that's too terrifying. Oh. You know, that looked fancy, but it didn't really do anything. Although the dodge on this guy, jeez. Okay, there goes literally a fifth of his health. Wait, does... Does freaking... Cross Slash now stun- Oh, cause- it, Yeah, Cross Slash always could paralyze them, but I guess I've just gotten lucky and it actually has been paralyzing them. Give him some hits! Oh, there he goes, he's back in action. I'ma shoot ya! Yeah, why does he keep doing, like, different kind of thingos? I like this sword, though, it's nice. It- <laughs> it- I didn't like the butter knife sword, so I'm guessing this is a better sword and then it does stuff depending on if someone is dead. Might be useful. You never know. Aha! Healing. I get it. Hick, 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 hick. Up yours too, mate! Wait a minute. Oh gosh, he's gonna die like Indiana Jones. What? What? Why the play? Wait, where's he going? No, come back! Oh! <laughs> oh! Oh, gosh! Oh! Oh my gosh, you died! <laughs> oh! Oh, gosh! <laughs> oh, gosh. No, it's taking off! Forget it, get in! 
That was a totally legit jump. And away we go! To space! To space! Wait, we left Sid behind. We named him and we left him behind. To space! Uh, shouldn't we get in the cockpit? Or something smart? Oh, dude, are we getting. Oh, wow, he's outrunning a plane. Give us that. Oh! Oh, this guy. The tail's been hit! Emergency landing! This is gonna be a big splash! Hold onto your drawers and don't piss in them! <laughs> I like this guy. Yeah, we will feel good though, again with an Aussie accent. Oh! Straight in the ocean. Hey, at least it floats. She won't fly anymore. Can we use it as a boat? <coughs> do whatever you want. Sid, what do we do now? I don't know. I'm history with the Shinra, and I've given up on that town. How about your wife, Jera? Wife, don't make me laugh. She's just thinking about Mariner gives me the chills. What are you guys gonna do? We're going after a man named Sephiroth. We'll have to get Rufus off the Shinra someday, too. I don't know about any of that, but... What the hell? Sign me up! How about it, everyone? I don't mind. Glad to be aboard, numbskulls. Numbskulls? Yeah, anyone stupid enough to go up against Shinra nowadays has got to be a numbskull. I like it. So where are we headed? R Rufus was going after Sephiroth to the Temple of the Ancients. Really? Where is it? That Temple of the Ancients? Dunno, that numbskull kid was telling me it was heading the wrong direction, so maybe it's off this way. Let's just head for land and get some information. Temple of the Ancients. That name bothers me. Oh, okay. How to fly? I thought he said it didn't fly. Uh, it can cross shallow waters and rivers. Okay. Alright, so I guess I can't go into that deep ocean. Anyway, uh, oh, sorry, gotta, uh, nope, so get out of the, maybe I can't get out because I'm on the ocean, so it's basically a boat, got it. Anyway, uh, so I guess we will save here, and I guess, uh, we will continue on with this, uh, next part. Man, we did a lot this part, uh, so I guess, yep. Anyway, I'll see you guys next time. See you kids then.